Hello friends. Uh, in this video I'm going to test for the validation because right now we just say post create and the last and request all. Also we need to make the relationship with the user because we need the user ID in the post. Also in the PHP unit I'm going to uncomment this and also this one. So I'm going to work with SQLite in the memory. And so for that let's uh, go here and say it requires the title, body and the status. And create a function here, closure. And what we can say here, uh, so create the user like this, and say to assign this, and why we have this one, this acting as the user. And uh, post slash post. And now I'm not going to add anything here because we are going to check for the errors and say here assert that a session has errors. And here I'm going to add the, an array with title. We expect the title to have error, a body and status. If I uh, run the test now, we have two failed We don't have user stable. Now we need to because we added we need to say artisan migrate. Okay, now I'm around that best. And we have two failed again. because we need to add the uh, database here. So let's go to the past and using with the database. Get started and So uses a refresh database class. Paste that in and import now this refresh database. Okay. And now we have one failed, so the session is missing expected key errors. So we don't have errors there. Let's go to the post controller and make validation here. So I'm going to say dollar sign validated. It's going to be with request validate and add the rules here. So title is going to be 
required also the body it's going to be required and the status okay and instead of this now we can say uh, validated but we need also the user id here because we have in the in the post we have user id so for that we need to make a relationship with posts and say authenticated user create a post create so let's open the user model and create that relationship public function posts and return so I'll assign this as many post class and in the post controller instead of this we can say the authenticated user and post create like this open the terminal and run the test and all pass so we have the validation if i make a change here so uh, remove the status and pass again passed because we have a session has error for the title and body but if i leave the uh, status here and in the post controller remove the status so it's not required and it's going to fail because the session missing the error for status and also it's failing here with uh, post status insert in the post updated that and created that test body so we have two errors here because we don't add the uh, status in here okay so that's it for this video friends hope you enjoy and see you in the next